And even it started to bump up. Yeah, it sure did. It's like, hmm, this feels a little bit hotter than the yeah. day before. And it was. We got up to 87 degrees, Portland, Vancouver. Now, of course, the usual hot spots of that has been Eastern Oregon, over to the Dalles. We had 96 there, but at least for the most part, you can see we stayed out of that 100 range. Tiny, tiny improvements, tiny changes. 81 is our normal daytime high. Over to Ridgefield from our Alien A camera at 65 degrees. Cloudier skies tonight. Just want to give you kind of a, a preview to what we're going, going to be talking about tonight and really the rest of this week and likely the rest of this summer. The red flag warnings across the board. For the first time in a while, both in Washington and Oregon, we do not currently at this very moment have any red flag warnings. Of course, that could change as the next few days go along. But what we are talking about is bringing in some rain. Along with the rain comes a front. Along with the front comes, uh, yes, stronger winds. So let's take a look at that wind gust forecast. There are many fires to talk about. We can't get them all in in this particular block, but we'll be giving you updates on air and online at coin.com. So follow us there. Uh, the latest fire closest to the gorge here, Seven Mile Hill Fire. We've been talking about the Fur Mountain Fire. That was in mop-up stages. Now this one pops up. It's between Mosier and the Dalles. So let's take a look at what the winds are going to be doing. Currently at 100 acres. They're hoping to get at least 30% of it con contained by tonight. Uh, we get to Friday. Friday's our day when we're expecting rain. That's good news. But look at what happens to the wind. We're going to see a stronger onshore flow, meaning winds from the west, gusting anywhere from 30 to possibly 40 miles per hour between Bonneville and the Dalles. Saturday, not nearly as windy. Winds calm down. Overall direction, though, still coming from the west and blowing all that smoke out to the east. As we look on radar, we are seeing the portions of our coastline being introduced, introduced to a little bit of rain. The big stuff arrives by the time we get to Friday. But here are your chances where you might run into a few sprinkles overnight, early morning hours tomorrow with a break for the afternoon, partly cloudy. Another chance for you as we roll into Friday, especially Friday morning, right around four o'clock in the morning. We could have some isolated to scattered showers. And again, not talking about a big widespread rain event. It's mostly areas from Portland to the north and of course along the coast. This is what it looks like. We get to Thursday morning, Thursday morning again, most of the rain heading over to Western Washington and portions of Eastern Washington too, which is exactly where they need it. By the time we get to Friday morning, that's when we're looking at perhaps a wet commute for the morning and also for the evening. Seven day forecast does include a dry weekend ahead, mid eighties, but look at that, Jeff, Friday, Whoa. a high of just 77. Yeah, I had said that's the day that kind of sticks out like a pair of brown shoes <laughs> in a room full of tuxedos. Definitely. Yeah, there yes. you go. Well, <laughs> Coming up, an historic night.